Deuteronomy chapter 24 Laws Concerning Divorce When a man takes a wife and marries her, if then she finds no favor in his eyes because he has found some indecency in her, and he wants her want, writes her a certificate of divorce and puts it in her hand and sends her out of his house, and she departs out of his house, and if she goes and becomes another man's wife, and the latter man hates her and writes her a certificate of divorce and puts it in her hand and sends her out of the house, or if, a latter, or if the latter man dies who took her to be his wife, then her former husband who sent her away may not take her again to be his wife after she has been defiled, for that is an abomination before the Lord, and you shall not bring sin upon the land that the Lord your God is giving you for an inheritance. Miscellaneous Laws When a man is newly married, he shall not go out with the army or be liable for, to any other public duty. He shall be free at home one year to be happy with his wife, whom he has taken. No one shall take a mill or an upper millstone in pledge, for that would be taking a life in pledge. If a man is found stealing one of his brothers, of the people of Israel, and if he treats him as a slave or sells him, then that thief shall die. So you shall purge the evil from your midst. Take care, in the case of leprous disease, to be very careful to do according to all that the Levitical priests shall direct you. As I commanded them, so shall you be careful to do. Remember what the Lord your God did to Miriam on the way as you came out of Egypt. When you make your neighbor a loan of any sort, you shall not go into his house to collect his pledge. You shall stand outside, and the man to whom you make the loan shall bring the pledge out to you. And if he is a poor man, you shall not sleep in his pledge. You shall restore to him the pledge as the sun sets, that he may sleep in his cloak and bless you, and it shall be righteousness for you before the Lord your God. You shall not oppress a hired servant who is poor and needy, whether he is one of your brothers or one of the sojourners who are in your land within your towns. You shall give him his wages on the same day, before the sun sets, for he is poor and counts on it, lest he cry against you to the Lord, and you be guilty of sin. Fathers shall not be put to death because of their children, nor shall their children be put to death because of their fathers. Each one shall be put to death for his own sin. You shall not pervert the justice due to the sojourner or to the fatherless or take a widow's garments in pledge, but you shall remember that you were a slave in Egypt and the Lord your God redeemed you from there. Therefore I command you to do this. When you reap your harvest in your field and forget a sheaf in the field, you shall not go back to get it. It shall be for the sojourner, the fatherless, and the widow that the Lord your God may bless you in all the work of your hands. When you beat your olive trees, shall, you shall not go over them again. It shall be for the sojourner, the fatherless, and the widow. When you gather the grapes of your vineyard, you shall not strip up afterward. It shall be for the sojourner, the fatherless, and the widow. You shall remember that you were a slave in the land of Egypt. Therefore, I command you to do this. Deuteronomy chapter 25. If there is a dispute between men and they come into court and the judges decide between them, acquitting the innocent and condemning the guilty, then if the guilty man deserves to be beaten, the judge shall cause him to lie down and he shall be beaten in his presence with a number of stripes on propor in proportion to his offense. Forty stripes may be given him, but no more, lest if anyone, if one should go on to beat him with more stripes than these, your brother be degraded in your sight. You shall not muzzle an ox when it is treading out the grain. Laws Concerning Le Leverite Marriage if, a, if brothers dwell together and one of them dies and has no son, the wife of the dead man shall not be married outside the family to a stranger. Her husband's brother shall go in to her and take her as his wife and perform the duty of a husband's brother to her. And the first son whom she bears shall succeed to, in the name, to the name of his dead brother, that his name may not be blotted out of Israel. And if the man does not wish to take his brother's wife, 
Then his brother's wife shall go up to the gate to the elders and say, My husband's brother refuses to perpetuate his brother's name in Israel. He will not perform the duty of a husband's brother to me. Then the elders of this his city shall call him and speak to him, and if he persists, saying, I do not wish to take her, then his brother's wife shall go up to him in the presence of the elders and pull his sandal off his foot and spit in his face, and she shall answer and say, So shall it be done to the man who does not build up his brother's house, and the name of the house shall be called in Israel, the house of him who had a sandal pulled off. Miscellaneous Laws When men fight with one another, and the wife of one draws near to rescue her husband from the hand of him who is beating him, and puts out her hand and seizes him by the private parts, then you shall cut off her hand. Your eye shall have no pity. You shall not have in your bag two kinds of weights, a large and a small. You shall not have in your house two kinds of measures, a large and a small. A full and fair weight you shall have, a full and fair measure you shall have, that your days may be long in the land that the Lord your God is giving you. For all who do such things, all who act dishonestly, are an abomination to the Lord your God. Remember what Amalek did to you on the day as you came out of Egypt, how he attacked you on the way when you were faint and weary and cut off your trail, tail, those who are lagging behind you, and he did not fear God. Therefore, when the Lord your God has given you rest from all your enemies around you, in the land that the Lord your God is giving you for an inheritance to possess you, to possess, you shall blot out the memory of Amalek from under heaven, you shall not forget. Deuteronomy chapter 26 Offerings of first fruits and Tithes When you come into the land that the Lord God is giving you for an inheritance, and have taken possession of it, and live in it, you shall take some of the first of all the fruit of the ground, which you harvest from your land that the Lord your God is giving you, and you shall put it in a basket, and you shall go to the place that the Lord your God will choose to make his name to dwell there. And you shall go to the priest who is in the office at, in that time and say to him, I declare today to the Lord your God that I have come into the land that the Lord swore to our fathers to give us. Then the priest shall take the basket from your hand and set it down before the altar of the Lord your God. And you shall make a response before the Lord your God. A wandering Arame Aramean was my father, and he went down into Egypt and sojourned there. Few in number, and there he became a nation, great, mighty, and populous. And the Egyptians treated us harshly, and humiliated us, and laid on us hard labor. Then we cried to the Lord, the God of our fathers, and the Lord heard our voice, and saw our affliction, our toil, and our oppression. And the Lord brought us out of Egypt with a mighty hand and an outstretched arm, with great deeds of terror, with signs and wonders. And he brought us into this place and gave us this land, a land flowing with milk and honey. And behold, now I bring the first of the fruit of the ground which you, O Lord, have given me. And you shall set it down before the Lord your God and worship before the Lord your God. And you shall rejoice in all the good that the Lord your God has given to you and to your house and to the Levite and the sojourner who is among you. When you have finished praying all the tithe of your produce in the in the third year, when you have finished paying all the tithe of your produce in the third year, which is a year of tithing, giving it to the Levite, the sojourner, the fatherless, and the widow, so that they may eat within your towns and be filled, then you shall say before the Lord your God, I have removed the sacred portion out of my house, and moreover, I have given it to the Levite, the sojourner, the fatherless, and the widow, according to all your commandment that you have commanded me. I have not transgressed any of your commandments, nor have I forgotten them. I have not eaten of the tithe while I was mourning, or removed any of it while I was unclean, or offered any of it to the dead. I have obeyed the voice of the Lord my God. I have done according to all that you have commanded me. Look down from your holy habitation from heaven, and bless your people Israel, the ground that, that you have given us, as you swore to our fathers, a land flowing with milk and honey. This day the Lord your God commands you to do these statutes and rules. You shall therefore be careful to do them with all your heart and with all your soul. You have declared today that the Lord is your God and that you will walk in his ways and keep his statutes and his commandments and his rules and will obey his voice. And the Lord has declared today that you are a people for his treasured possession as he has promised you. 
that you are to keep all his commandments, and that he will set you in praise and in frame and in honor high above all nations that he has made, and that you shall be a people holy to the Lord your God as he has promised. Deuteronomy chapter 27 The Altar on Mount Ebal now Moses and the elders of Israel commanded the people, saying, Keep the whole commandment that I commanded you today, and on the day that you cross over to the Jordan, to the land that the Lord God is giving you, you shall set up large stones and plaster them with plaster, and you shall write on them all the words of this law when you cross over and enter the land that the Lord is giving you, a land flowing with milk and honey, as the Lord the God of your fathers has promised you. And when you have crossed over the Jordan, you shall set up these stones concerning which I command you today on Mount Ebal, and you shall plaster them with plaster. And there you shall build an altar to the Lord your God, an altar of stones. You shall wield no tool on them. You shall build an altar to the Lord your God of uncut stones. And you shall offer burnt offerings on it to the Lord your God. And you shall sacrifice peace offerings and shall eat there. And you shall rejoice before the Lord your God. And you shall write on the stones all the words of this law very plainly. Curses from Mount Ebal Then Moses and the Levitical priests said to all Israel, Keep silence and hear, O Israel, this day you have become the people of the Lord your God. You shall therefore obey the voice of the Lord your God, keeping his commandments and his statutes, which I command you today. That day Moses cha charged the people, saying, When you have crossed over the Jordan, these shall stand on Mount Gerizim, to bless the people of Simeon, Levi, Judah, Issachar, Joseph, and Benjamin. And these shall stand on Mount Ebal for the curse, Reuben, Gad, Asher, Zebulun, Dan, and Naphtali. And the Levites shall declare to all men of Israel with a loud voice, Cursed be the man who makes a carved or cast metal image an abomination to the Lord, a thing made by the hands of a craftsman, and sets it up in secret. And all the people shall answer and say, Amen. Cursed be anyone who dishonors his father or his mother, and all the people shall say, Amen. Cursed be anyone who moves his neighbor's landmark, and all the people shall say, Amen. Cursed be anyone who misleads a blind man on the road, and all the people shall say, Amen. Cursed be anyone who perverts the justice due to the sojourner, the fatherless, and the widow, and all the people shall say, Amen. Cursed be anyone who lies with his father's wife, because he has uncovered his father's nakedness, and all the people shall say, Amen. Cursed be anyone who lies with any kind of animal, and all the people shall say, Amen. Cursed be anyone who lies with his sister, whether the daughter of his father or the daughter of his mother, and all the people shall say, Amen. Cursed be anyone who lies with his mother-in-law, and all the people shall say, Amen. Cursed be anyone who strikes down his neighbor in secret, and all the people shall say, Amen. Cursed be anyone who takes a bribe to shed innocent blood, and all the people shall say, Amen. Cursed be anyone who does not confirm the words of this law by doing them, and all the people shall say, Amen. Deuteronomy chapter 28 Blessings for Obedience And if you faithfully obey the voice of the Lord your God, being careful to do all his commandments that I command you today, the Lord your God will set you high above the nations of the earth, and all these blessings shall come upon you, and overtake you. If you obey the voice of the Lord your God, blessed shall you be in the city, and blessed shall you be in the field. Blessed shall you be shall be the first of your womb, and the first of your ground, and the first of your cattle, the increase of your herds, and the young of your flock. Blessed shall be your basket, and your kneading bowl. Blessed shall you be when you come in, and blessed shall you be when you go out. The Lord will cause your enemies to rise against you to be defeated before you. They shall come out against you one way and flee before you seven ways. The Lord will command the blessing on you in, ban in your barns and in that all that you undertake, and he will bless you in the land that the Lord your God is giving you. The Lord will establish you as a people holy to himself as he has sworn to you if you keep the commandments of the Lord your God and walk in his ways. And all the peoples of the earth shall see that you are called by the name of the Lord, and they shall be afraid of you. And the Lord will make you abound in prosperity in the fruit of your womb and in the fruit of your livestock and in the fruit of your ground within the land that the Lord swore to your fathers to give you. 
The Lord will open to you his good treasury, the heavens to give the rain to your land in its season, and to bless all the work of your hands. And you shall lend to many nations, but you shall not borrow. And the Lord will make you the head and not the tail, and you shall only go up and not go down. If you obey the commandments of the Lord your God, which I command you today, being careful to do them, and if you do not turn aside from any of the words that I command you today, to the right hand or to the left, to go after other gods to serve them. Curses for Disobedience But if you will not obey the voice of the Lord your God, or be careful to do all his commandments and his statutes that I command you today, then all these curses shall come upon you and overtake you. Cursed shall you be in the city, and cursed shall you be in the field. Cursed shall be your basket and your kneading bowl. Cursed shall be the fruit of your womb and the fruit of the ground, the increase of your herds and the young of your flock. Cursed shall you be when you come in, and cursed shall you be when you go out. The Lord will send on you curses, confusion, and frustration in all that you undertake to do, until you are destroyed and perish quickly on account of the evil of your deeds, because you have forsaken me. The Lord will make the pestilence stick to you until he has consumed you off the land that you are entering to take possession of it. The Lord will strike you with wasting disease and with fever, inflammation and fiery heat, and with drought and with blight and with mildew. They shall pursue you until you perish, and the heavens over your head shall be bronze, and the earth under you shall be iron. The Lord will make the rain of your land powder. From heaven dust shall come down on your on you until you are destroyed. The Lord will cause you to be defeated before your enemies. You shall go out one way against them and flee seven ways before them, and you shall be an, a, a horror to all the kingdoms of the earth, and your dead body shall be f food for all the birds of the air and for the beasts of the earth, and there shall be no one to frighten them away. The Lord will strike you with boils of Egypt and with tumors and scabs and itch of which you cannot be healed. The Lord will strike you with madness and blindness and confusion of mind, and you shall grope at noonday as a blind grope in darkness, and you shall not prosper in your ways. And you shall only be you shall be only oppressed and robbed continually, and there shall be no one to help you. You shall betroth a wife, but another man shall ravish her. You shall build a house, and you shall not dwell in it. You shall plant a vineyard, but you shall not enjoy its fruit. Your ox shall be slaughtered before your eyes, but you shall not eat any of it. Your donkey shall be seized before your face, but shall not be restored to you. Your sheep shall be given to your enemies, but there shall be no one to help you. Your sons and your daughters shall be given to another people, while your eyes look on and fail with longing for them all day long. But you shall be helpless. A nation that, have, that you have not known shall eat up its fruit of your ground and of your labors, and you shall only be oppressed and crushed continually, so that you are driven mad by the sights that your eyes see. The Lord will strike you on the knees and, the, and on the legs with grievous boils of which you cannot be healed, from the sole of your foot to the crown of your head. The Lord will bring you and your king who, whom you set over a nation that neither you nor your fathers have known, and there you shall serve other gods of wood and stone, and you shall become a horror, a proverb, and a byword among all the peoples where the Lord will lead you away. You shall carry much seed into the field, and shall gather in little, for the locusts shall consume it. You shall plant vineyards and dress them, but you shall neither drink of the wine nor gather of the grapes, for the worm shall eat them. You shall have olive trees throughout all your territory, but you shall not anoint yourself with oil, for the olives shall drop off. You shall father sons and daughters, but they shall not be yours, for they shall go into captivity. The cricket shall possess all your trees and the fruit of the ground. Your sojourner who is among you shall rise higher and higher above you, and you shall become down lower and lower. He shall lend to you, and you shall not lend to him. He shall be the head, and you shall be the tail. All these curses shall come upon you and pursue you and overtake you until you are destroyed, because you did not obey the voice of the Lord your God to keep his commandments and his statutes that he commanded you. They shall be a sign and a wonder against you and your offspring forever. Because you did not serve the Lord your God with joyfulness and gladness of heart, because of the abundance of all these things, therefore you shall serve your enemies whom the Lord will send against you, in hunger and thirst, in nakedness and lacking everything. And he will put a yoke of iron on your neck until he has destroyed you. The Lord will bring a nation against you from far away, 
from the end of the earth, swooping down like the eagle. A nation whose language you do not understand, a hard-faced nation who shall not respect the old or show mercy to the young. It shall eat the offspring of your cattle and the fruit of your ground until you are destroyed. It also shall not leave you grain, wine, or oil, the increase of your herds, or the young of your flock, until they have caused you to perish. They shall besiege you in all your towns until your high and fortified walls, which you trusted, come down throughout all your land. And they shall besiege you in your towns throughout all your lands, which the Lord your God has given you. And you shall eat the fruit of your womb, the flesh of your sons and daughters, whom the Lord your God has given you, in the siege and in the distress which your enemies shall distress you. The man who is most tender and refined among you will begrudge food to his brother and the wife he embraces, and to the last of the children whom he has left, so that he will not give any of them any of the flesh of his children whom he is eating, because he is nourishing else, as because he has nothing else left in the siege and in the distress in which your enemy shall distress you in all your towns. The most tender and refined woman among you, who would not venture to set a sole of her foot on the ground because she is so delicate and tender, will begrudge to the husband she embraces, to her son and her daughter, after her afterbirth that comes out from between her feet and her children whom she bears, because lacking everything she will eat them secretly in the siege and in the distress in which your enemy shall distress you in your towns. You shall not... You, sh you are not careful to do all, if you are not careful to do all the words of this law that are written in this book, that you may fear this glorious and awesome name, the Lord your God. Then the Lord will bring on you and your offspring extraordinary afflictions, afflictions severe and lasting, and sicknesses grievous and lasting. And he will bring upon you again all the diseases of Egypt, of which you were afraid, and they shall cling to you. Every sickness also and every affliction that is not recorded in the book of this law the Lord will bring upon you until you are destroyed. Whereas you were as numerous as the stars of heaven, you shall be left few in number, because you did not obey the voice of the Lord your God. And as the Lord took delight in doing you good and multiplying you, so the Lord will take delight in bringing ruin upon you and destroying you, and you shall be plucked off the land that you are entering to take possession of it. And the Lord will scatter you among all the peoples from one end of the earth to the other, and there you shall serve other gods of wood and stone, and neither you nor your fathers have known. And among these nations you shall find no respite, and there shall be no resting place for the sole of your foot. But the Lord will give you there a trembling heart and failing eyes and a languishing soul. Your life shall hang in doubt before you. Night and day you shall be in dread and have no assurance of your life. In the morning you shall say, If only it were evening, and at evening you shall say, If only it were morning. Because of the dread that your heart shall feel, and the sights that your eyes shall see, and the Lord will bring you back in ships to Egypt, a journey that I promised that you should never make again, and there you shall offer yourselves for sake to your enemy for sale to your enemies as male and female slaves, but there will be no buyer. Deuteronomy chapter twenty nine The Covenant Renewed in Moab. These are the words of the covenant that the Lord commanded Moses to make with the people of Israel in the land of Moab, besides the covenant that he had made with them in Horeb. And Moses summoned all Israel and said to them, You have seen all that the Lord had did, all the Lord did before your eyes in the land of Egypt, to Pharaoh and to all his servants, and to all his land, the great trials that your eyes saw, the signs and those great wonders. But to this day the Lord has not given you a heart to understand, or eyes to see, or ears to hear. I have led you forty years in the wilderness. Your clothes have not worn out on you, and your sandals have not worn off your feet. You have not eaten bread, and you have not drunk wine or strong drink, that you may know that I am the Lord your God. And when you came to this place, Sihon the king of Heshbon and Og the king of Bashan came out against us to battle, but we defeated them. We took their land and gave it for an inheritance to the Reubenites, the Gadites, and the half-tribe of the Manassites. Therefore, keep the words of this covenant and do them, that you may prosper in all that you do. You are standing today, all of you, before the Lord your God, the heads of your tribes, your elders, and your officers, that all the men of Israel, your little ones, your wives, and the sojourners who is in your camp, 
from the one who chops your wood to the one who draws your water, so that you may enter into the sworn covenant of the Lord your God, which the Lord your God is making with you today, that he may establish you today as his people, and that he may be your God, as promised you, and, and as he swore to your fathers, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob. It is not with you alone that I am making this sworn covenant, but with whoever is standing here with us today before the Lord our God, and with whoever is not here with us today. You know how we lived in the land of Egypt, and how we came through the midst of the nations though you were, through which you had passed. And you have seen their detestable things, their idols of wood and stone, of silver and gold, which were among them. Beware, lest there be among you a man or woman or clan or tribe whose heart is turning away today from the Lord our God to go and serve the gods of those nations. Beware, lest there be among you a root of root bearing poisonous and bitter fruit, one who, when he hears the words of this sworn covenant, blesses himself in his heart, saying, I shall be safe, though I walk in the stubbornness of my heart. This will lead to the sweeping away of moist and dry alike. The Lord will not be willing to forgive him, but rather the anger of the Lord and his jealousy will smoke against that man, and the curses written in this book shall settle upon him, and the Lord will blot out his name from under heaven, and the Lord will single him out from all the tribes of Israel for calamity in accordance with all the curses of the covenant written in this book of the law. And the next generation, your children who rise up after you, and the foreigner who comes from far a far land, will say, when they see the afflictions of the land, that the sickness with the, which the Lord has made it sick, the whole land burned out with brimstone and salt, nothing sown and nothing growing, where no plant can sprout, and an overthrow, like the, that of Sodom and Gomorrah, Adma and Zeboam, which the Lord overthrew in his anger and wrath, all the nations will say, Why has the Lord done this to this land? What caused the heart heat of this great anger? Then people will say, It is because they abandoned the covenant of the Lord, the God of their fathers, which he made with them when he brought them out of the land of Egypt, and went and served other gods and worshipped them, gods whom they had not known and whom he had not allotted to them. Therefore the anger of the Lord was kindled against this land, bringing upon it all the curses within this book. And the Lord uprooted them from their land in anger and fury and great wrath, and cast them into another land as they are this day. The secret things belong to the Lord our God, but the things that are revealed belong to us and belong to our children forever, that we may do all the words of this law. Deuteronomy chapter 30 Repentance and Forgiveness And when all these things come upon you, the blessing and the curse, which I have set before you, and you call them, to mind among all the nations where the Lord your God has driven you, and return to the Lord your God, you and your children, and obey his voice in all that I command you today, with all your heart and with all your soul. Then the Lord your God will restore your fortunes and have compassion on you, and he will gather you again from all the peoples of the Lord your God has scattered you. If your outcasts are in the uttermost parts of heaven, from there the Lord your God will gather you, and from there he will take you, and the Lord your God will bring you into the land that your fathers possessed, that you may possess it. And he will make you more prosperous and numerous than your fathers, and the Lord your God will circumcise your heart and the heart of your offspring, so that you will love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul, that you may live. And the Lord your God will put all these curses on your foes and enemies who persecuted you, and you shall again obey the voice of the Lord and keep all his commandments that I command you today. The Lord your God will make you abundantly prosperous in all, all the work of your hand, in the fruit of your womb, and in the fruit of the cattle, and the fruit of the ground. For the Lord will again take delight in prospering you, as he took delight in your fathers. When you obey the voice of the Lord your God to keep his commandments and his statutes that are written in the book of the law, when you turn to the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul. The Choice of Life and Death For this commandment that I command you today, is not too hard for you, that neither is it far off. It is not heaven that you should say, Who shall ascend to heaven for us, and bring it to us, that we may hear it and do it. Neither is it beyond the sea that you should say, Who will go over the sea for us, and bring it to us, that we may hear it and do it. But the word is very near to you. It is in your mouth and in your heart, so that you can do it. 
See, I have set before you today life and good, death and evil. If you obey the commandments of the Lord your God that I command you today by loving the Lord your God, by walking in his ways, and by keeping his commandments and all his statutes and his rules, and you shall live and multiply, and the Lord your God will bless you in the land that you are entering to take possession of it. But if your heart turns away and you will not hear, but are drawn away to worship other gods and serve them, I declare to you today that you shall surely perish. You shall not live long in the land that you are going over to the Jordan and enter and possess. I call heaven and earth to witness against you today that I have set before you life and death, blessing and curse. Therefore choose life, that you and your offspring may live, loving the Lord your God, obeying his voice, and holding fast to him. For he is your life and length of days, that you may dwell in the land that the Lord swore to your fathers, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob, to give to them. Deuteronomy chapter 31, Joshua to succeed Moses. So Moses continued to speak these words to all Israel, and he said to them, I am 120 years old today. I am no longer able to go out and come in. The Lord has said to me, You shall not go over this Jordan. The Lord your God himself will go over before you. He will destroy those nations before you, so that you shall dispossess them. And Joshua will go over at your head, as the Lord has spoken. And the Lord will do to them as he did to Sihon and Og, the kings of the Amorites, and to their land when he destroyed them. And the Lord will give them over to you, and you shall do to them according to the whole commandment that I have commanded you. Be strong and courageous. Do not fear or be in dread of, of them. For it is here, it is the Lord your God who goes with you. He will not leave you or, nor forsake you. Then Moses summoned Joshua and said to him in the sight of all Israel, Be strong and courageous, for you shall go with his people into the land that the Lord has sworn to their fathers to give them, and you shall put them in possession of it. It is the Lord who goes before you. He will be with you. He will not leave you or forsake you. Do not fear or be dismayed. The Reading of the Law Then Moses wrote this law and gave it to the priests, the sons of Levi, who carried the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord, and to all the elders of Israel, and Moses commanded them, At the end of every seventy years, at the set time of the year of release, at the Feast of Booths, when all Israel comes to appear before the Lord your God, at the place that he will choose, you shall read this law before all Israel in their hearing. Assemble the people, men, women, and little ones, and the sojourner within your towns, that they may hear and learn to fear the Lord your God, and be careful to do all the words of this law, and that their children who have not known it may hear and learn to fear the Lord your God as long as you live in the land you are going to possess, going over to the Jordan to possess. Joshua commissioned to lead Israel. And the Lord said to Moses, Behold, the days approach when you must die. Call Joshua and present yourselves in the tent of meeting, that I may commission him. And Moses and Joshua went and presented themselves in the tent of meeting. And the Lord appeared in the tent in a pillar of a cloud, and the pillar of cloud stood over the entrance of the tent. And the Lord said to Moses, Behold, you are about to lie down with your fathers. Then, then this people will rise and whore after foreign gods among them in the land that they are entering. And they will forsake me and break my covenant that I have made with them. Then my anger will be kindled against them in that day, and I will forsake them and hide my face from them, and they will be devoured. And many evils and troubles will come upon them, so that they will say in that day, Have not these evils come upon us because our God is not among us? And I will surely hide my face in that, in that day because of all the evil that they have done, because they have turned to other gods. Now therefore write this song and teach it to the people of Israel. Put it in their mouths that this song may be a witness for me against the people of Israel. For when I have brought them into the land flowing with milk and honey, which I swore to give to their fathers, and they have eaten, and are full and grown fat, they will turn to other gods and serve them, and despise me and break my covenant. And when many evils and troubles have come upon them, this song shall confront them as a witness, for it will live unforgotten in the mouths of their offspring. For I know that they are inclined to do even today, before I have brought them into the land that I swore to give. So Moses wrote this song the same day and taught it to the people of Israel. And the Lord commissioned Joshua the son of Nun, and said, Be strong and courageous, for you shall bring the people of Israel into the land that I swore to give them. I will be with you. When Moses had finished writing the words of this law in a book to the very end, Moses commanded the Levites who carried the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord. 
Take this book of the law and put it on the side of the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord your God, that it may be there for a witness against you, for I know how rebellious and stubborn you are. Behold, even today when I am alive with you, you have been rebellious against the Lord. How much more after my death? Assemble to me all the elders of your tribes and your officers, that I may speak these words in their ears, and call heaven and earth to witness against them. For I know that after my death you will surely act corruptly and turn aside from the way that I had commanded you. And in the days to come evil will befall you, because you will not do you will do what is evil in the sight of the Lord, provoking him to anger through the work of your hands. The Song of Moses Then Moses spoke the words of this song until they were finished in the ears of all the assembly of Israel. Deuteronomy chapter 32 Give ear, O heavens, and I will speak, and let the earth hear the words of my mouth. May my teaching drop as the rain, my speech distill as the dew, like gentle rain upon the tender grass, and like showers upon the herb. For I will proclaim the name of the Lord, ascribe greatness to our God. The rock, his work is perfect, for all his ways are justice a God of faithfulness and without inequity. Just and upright is he. They have dealt corruptly with him. They are no longer his children because they are blemished. They are a crooked and twisted generation. Do you thus repay the Lord, you foolish and senseless people? Is not he your father who created you, who made you and established you? Remember the days of old. Consider the years of many generations. Ask your father and he will show you your elders, and they will tell you. When the Most High gave it to the nations their inheritance, when he divided mankind, he fixed the borders of the peoples according to the number of the sons of God. But the Lord's portion is his people, Jacob, his allotted heritage. He found him in a desert and in the howling waste of the wilderness. He encircled him, he cared for him, he kept him as an apple of his eye. Like an eagle that stirs up its nest, that flutters over its young, spreading out its wings, catching them, bearing them on its pinions. The Lord alone guided him. No foreign god was with him. He made, them, he made him ride on the high places of the land, and he ate the produce of the field, and he suckled him with honey out of the rock and oil out of the flinty rock, curds from the herd and milk from the flock, with fat of lambs, rams of, ba of bashan and goats, with the finest of the wheat, and you drank foaming wine made from the blood of the grape. But Jeshurun grew fat and kicked and grew fat, stout and sleek. Then he forsook God who made him and scoffed at the rock of his salvation. They stirred him to jealousy with strange gods. With abominations they provoked him to anger. They sacrificed to demons that were no gods, to gods they had never known, to new gods that they had come recently, whom your fathers had ne never dreaded. You were unmindful of the rock that bore you, and you forgot the God who gave you birth. The Lord saw it and spurned them because of the provocation of his sons and his daughters. And he said, I will hide my face from them. I will see that their end will be, for they are a perverse generation, children in whom is no faithfulness. They have made me jealous with what is no God. They have provoked me to anger with their idols. So I will make them jealous with those who are no people, I will provoke them to anger with a foolish nation, for a fire is kindled by my anger, and it burns to the depths of Sheol, devours the earth and its increase, and sets on fire the foundations of the mountains. And I will heap disasters upon them, I will spend my arrows on them, they shall be wasted with hunger, and devoured by plague, and poisonous pestilence. I will send the teeth of the beast against them, with the venom of things that crawl in the dust. Outdoors the sword shall behave and indoors terror for young man and woman alike, the nursing child with the man of gray hairs. I would have said, I will cut them to pieces, I will wipe them from human memory, had I not feared provocation by the enemy, lest their adversaries should misunderstand, lest they should say, Our hand is triumphant. It was not the Lord who did all this. For they are a nation void of counsel, and there is no understanding in them. If they were wise, they would understand this, they would discern their latter end. How could one have chased a thousand, and two have put ten thousands to flight, unless their rock has sold them, and the Lord had given them up? For their rock is not as our rock, our enemies are by themselves. For their vine comes from the vine of Sodom, and from the fields of Gomorrah. Their grapes are grapes of poison, their clusters are bitter. 
Their wine is the poison of serpents and the cruel venom of asps. Is not this laid up in store with me, sealed up in my treasuries? Vengeance is mine and recompense, for the time with their foot shall slip, for the day of their calamity is at hand, and their doom comes swiftly. For the Lord will vindicate his people and have compassion on his servants, when he sees that their power is gone, and there is none remaining, bond or free. Then he will say, Where are the gods, the rocks in which they took refuge, who ate the fat of the sacrifices, and drank the wine of their drunk offering? Let them rise up and help you. Let them be your protection. See now that I, even I, am he, and there is no god beside me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. And there is none that can deliver you out of my hand. For I lift up my hand to heaven and swear as I live forever. If I sharpen my flashing sword and my hand takes hold on judgment, I will take vengeance on my adversaries and will repay those who hate me. I will make my arrows drunk with blood and my sword will devour flesh with the blood of the slain and the, f and the captives from long-haired heads of the enemy. Rejoice with him, O heavens, bow down to him, all gods, for he avenges the blood of his children and takes vengeance on his adversaries. He repays those who hate him and cleanses his people's land. Moses came and recited all the words of this song in the hearing of the people, and he and Joshua, the son of Nun. And when Moses had finished speaking all these words to Israel, he said to them, Take to heart all the words by which I am warning you today, that you may command them to your children, that they may be careful to do all the words of this law. For it is no empty word for you, but your very life. And th by this word you shall live long in the land that you are going over the Jordan to possess. Moses' death foretold. That very day the Lord spoke to Moses, Go up to this mountain of Ab Arabim, Mount Nebo, which is the land of Moab, opposite Jericho, and the view of the land of Canaan, which I am giving, back, giving to the people of Israel for a possession. And die on the mountain which you go up, and be gathered to your people, as Aaron your brother died on in Mount Hor, and was gathered to his people. Because you broke faith with me in the midst of the people of Israel, at the waters of Mirabah Kadesh, in the wilderness of Zin, and because you did not treat me as holy in the midst of the people of Israel. For you shall see the land before you, but you shall not go there into the land that I am giving to the people of Israel. Deuteronomy chapter 33 Moses' Final Blessing on Israel this is the blessing with which Moses, the man of God, blessed the people of Israel before his death. He said, The Lord came from Sinai and dawned from Seir upon us. He shone forth from Mount Paran. He came from the ten thousands of holy ones with flaming fire at his right hand. Yes, he loved his people. All his holy ones were in his hand. So they followed in your steps, receiving direction from you. When Moses commanded us a law as a possession for the assembly of Jacob, Thus the Lord came, became king in Jeshurun, when the heads of the people were gathered, all the tribes of Israel together. Let Reuben live and not die, but let his men be few. And this he said of Judah, Hear, O Lord, the voice of Judah, and bring him to his people with your hands contend, with your hands contend for him, and be a help against his adversaries. And of Levi he said, Give to Levi your Thummim and your Urim, the, to your godly one, whom you tested at Massa, with whom you quarreled at the waters of Meribah, who said of his father and mother, I regard them not. He disowned his brothers and ignored his children, for they observed your word and kept your covenant. They shall teach Jacob your rules and Israel your law. They shall put incense before you and whole burnt offerings on your altar. Bless the Lord his substance and accept the work of his hands. Crush the loins of his adversaries, of those who hate him, that they rise not again. Of Benjamin, he said, The beloved of the Lord dwells in safety. The high God surrounds him all day long and dwells between his shoulders. And of Joseph, he said, Blessed by the Lord be his land with the choicest gifts of heaven above and of the deep that crouches beneath with the choicest fruits of the sun and the rich, of the rich yield of the months, with the finest produce of the ancient mountains and the abundance of the everlasting hills, with the best gifts of the earth and its fullness, and the favor of him who dwells in the bush. May these rest on the head of Joseph, on the pate of him who is prince among his brothers. A firstborn bull, he has majesty, and his horns are the horns of a wild ox. With them he shall gore the peoples, all of them, till the ends of the earth. They, shall, they are the ten thousand of Ephraim, and they are the thousands of Manasseh. 
And of Zebulun he said, Rejoice, Zebulun, in your going out, and Issachar in your tents. They shall call people to their mountain. They, there they offer right sacrifices, for they draw from the abundance of the seas and the hidden treasures of the sand. And of Gad he said, Blessed it be he who enlarges Gad. Gad crouches like a lion, he tears off arm and scalp. He chose the best of the land for himself, for there a commander's portion was reserved. And he came with the heads of the people with Israel executed the justice of the Lord and his judgments for Israel. And of Dan, he said, Dan is a lion's cub that leaps from Bashan. And of Naphtali, he said, O Naphtali, sated with favor and full of the blessing of the Lord, possess the lake and the south. And of Asher, he said, Most blessed sons of be of Asher, let him be the favorite of his brothers and let him dip his foot in oil. Your bars shall be iron and bronze, and as your days, so shall your strength be. There is none like God, O Jeshurun, who rides through the heavens to your help. Though the skies in his majesty, through the skies in his majesty, the eternal God is your dwelling place, and underneath are the everlasting arms. And he thrust out the enemy before you and said, Destroy. So Israel lived in safety. Jacob lived alone in a land of grain and wine, whose heavens dropped down dew. Happy are you, O Israel, who is like you, a people saved by the Lord, the shield of your help, and the sword of your triumph. Your enemies shall come fawning to you, and you shall tread upon their backs. Deuteronomy chapter 34 Then Moses went up from the plains of Moab to Mount Nebo, to the top of Pisgah, which is opposite Jericho. And the Lord showed him all the land, Gilead as far as Dan, all Naphtali, the land of Ephraim and Manasseh, all the land of Judah as far as the western sea, the Negeb and the plain, that is, the valley of Jericho, the city of palm trees as far as Zoar. And the Lord said to him, This is the land of which I swore to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob. I will give it to your offspring. I have let you see it with your eyes, but you shall not go over there. So Moses, the servant of the Lord, died there in the land of Moab, according to the word of the Lord. And he buried him in the valley of the land of Moab, opposite Beth Peor. But no one knows the place of his burial to this day. Moses was 120 years old when he died. His eye was undimmed and his vigor unabated. And the people of Israel wept for Moses in the palms of Moab thirty days. Then the days of weeping and mourning for Moses were ended. And Joshua the son of Nun was full of the spirit of wisdom, for Moses had laid his hands on him. So the people of Israel obeyed him and did as the Lord had commanded Moses. And there has not risen a prophet since in Israel like Moses, whom the Lord knew face to face, none like him for all the signs and wonders that the Lord sent him to do in the land of Egypt to Pharaoh and to all his servants and to all his land, and for all the mighty power and all the great deeds of terror that Moses did in the sight of all Israel.